Hello everyone, welcome to IEEEexpert.com. So we are providing best IEEE projects on Python, VLSI and various domains at a better price. Okay. So today we are going to see project about vitamin deficiency detection using image processing and neural network. This is the project which we are going to see today. Okay. This project published on IEEE, IEEE Explorer on 2023. This project was very innovative. Uh, while uh, comparing with the current standard, this project was very innovative project. This project combines machine learning as well as deep learning together in a single project. Okay. So this project by title itself, you can come to know about this concept. So I do explain again. This project used to predict the vitamin deficiency. This project used to detect the vitamin deficiency using image processing. They have used image processing technique to predict the vitamin deficiency. For example, which vitamin having deficiency for the particular person. Okay, for example, it's, uh, vitamin A, B, C, D, E, like that they have mentioned. Okay, this is the project overall concept. Okay, so they have taken data set as a, uh, I do show the data set. So this is the data set they have considered. For example, they have taken various data set. For example, they have taken eye images, tongue images, skin images, like that. They have taken as a input. For example, if you need to check your uh, vitamin deficiency composition means, what you have to do means, you have to upload your eye picture or else tongue picture or else your skin picture. That's enough to predict your vitamin deficiency. What type of vitamin you are having, vitamin deficiency you are having. This is the overall concept of this project, okay. This is very innovative. So this is the project we are going to implement today, okay, using Python. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we have to use machine learning as well as deep learning for this project. So I do show the data set for this project. So this is the overall concept. Uh, I do explain the PVD of this project. So uh, this is the project PVD. So overall, this is the project PVD. So we do have complete report for this project. Complete report also available. So overall report also available for this project. If you are purchasing with us means we will deliver the complete report, PPD, code, everything. So this is the PPD. So which we have mentioned, vitamin deficiency detection using deep neural network algorithm. This is the title we have modified it today. Okay. So in abstract, we have mentioned that the proposed system able to detect your vitamin deficiency using human tissue images. Human tissue images means skin, tongue, as well as skin images. Those are the images we are going to give as an input. As well as we are using image clustering for this project, used to segment the part. What is the part? We have to segment the part of the skin, tongue, eyes to detect the vitamin deficiency. So we have to use, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to use DNN for this project. This is the introduction. We again uh, mentioned that various type of human having vitamin deficiency issue, but no one come to know about that. Okay, uh, they have to visit particular doctor. They have to check manually. It will have time consuming process. No one willing to do that. So. So what we are going to do means we have to creating the simple and better software to predict the content. So that's what we are going to do, do today. So segmentation algorithm. As I mentioned earlier, we have to use particular segmentation algorithm here. What the segmentation will do means it will extract the features from the skin images, eye images, as well as tongue image. It will extract the particular feature. By combining those features, it will form the segmentation images, clustering images. From that cluster image or segmented image, we have come to know about that finalist result. Those for that we are using 3D segmentation algorithm here. Then existing various existing system used to predict the vitamin deficiency. By common they are used to predict the single vitamin. For example, vitamin D only existing system predicted. They have predicted vitamin D deficiency only. But we are predicting various vitamins, not only vitamin D. Also they have used SVM supporting vector machine algorithm for that. We are using DNA, deep neural network as well as AlexNet for feature extraction. So existing major problem was false direction as well as uh, SVM doesn't work on the low contrast image. That's the existing problem. So as I mentioned earlier, in proposed we are using AlexNet algorithm, deep neural network algorithm for better research. This is the overall block diagram of this project. Once we once you got the project, we will explain everything. So we do have skin images, eye, tongue, or as uh, skin images as an input. So then you we are using feature extraction, image segmentation. Then classification output, it will give the vitamin deficiency output. This is the overall black diagram of this work. Overall methodology also we have explained. Everything explained on this project. Complete project, complete PPT available. So this is the data set of the project. Everything given. If you are purchasing this project, means we will provide everything. So without wasting much further time, I will explain the project concept for you. What I am going to do means, I am going to do the project folder. This is the project folder which I am going to run today. 
So this is the main code we are going to run. So what I'm going to do means I have to copy the project location. Then I'm opening Anaconda Navigator. In Anaconda Navigator, I'm going to open the project environment, particular project environment. Once project environment opened means, what I have to do means, I have to open the command front of the project environment. So that's what I'm going to do now. So project environment loading. So I should wait for the project environment sh sh uh, should load. So once project environment loaded means I have to open the open terminal. Then what I have to do means cd space copy to the project location. Then enter python space app one dot py. So python space app one dot py. This is the code I have to run. So just entering the python space app one dot app one dot py here. So the project running now. So it will generate the localhost address. Once project runs successfully means it will generate the localhost address. As I mentioned earlier, this is my project. Local status. Just I'm copying and pasting in my browser. So I got the home page for this project. So this is the home page for this project. This is the home page. What I have to do means I have to go to the login page. So this is my login page. In login page, what I'm going to do means I do have to use admin admin as a username and password for this. So when login successful means what I have to do means then login successful. So this is the cluster page. In cluster page, what I have to do means I have to upload any images. So I have to upload any images. What I have to do means I have to use some test images for that. Test image you can use any images. As I mentioned earlier, you can use any images, any set of images. Any set of images means you can take your own images. You can upload in the website. It will work. You can take your own tongue images, uh, or else you can take your own. What I have to do? Uh, you have to take your own skin images, eye images, anything. It will work perfectly. Okay, so it, uh, it alone, uh, it's not dependent on the data set. It completely independent. You can upload any images. You can check anything. It will work perfectly. Okay, without any issue, it will work perfectly. So that is the major advantage here in this project. Okay, so that is a major advantage here. So I copied some uh, images. You can upload and check it here. What I'm going to do means I have to upload those images. So choose image. What I'm going to do means I'm going to do the project folder. In my project folder, I have to use vitamin deficiency calculation. So vitamin deficiency, I have to use test images. I can use tongue images, or skin images, any images I can use. What I'm going to do means I'm going to upload one tongue images. Just I'm copying the tongue images. So copy it. Then what I have to do means I have to give cluster number. I'm giving five features. So you can mention any features. Just I'm giving five features. Just I have to use submit. Once project submitted means see that saved as a original image. It will calculate the segmentation process. Segmentation process will going on. See that iteration one, iteration two. You have to wait for the ten iteration to complete. Okay, so the image will take for the ten iteration to complete. So we have to wait third iteration, fourth iteration, fifth iteration. So after ten iteration completed, it will generate the segmented images. Five different clusters, five different segmented images. It will generate. See that seven iteration completed. We have to wait for the 10 iteration to complete. So nine, uh, nine iteration. Then we have to wait for the last iteration. Okay, completed. Once it's completed, means we have to go for the same page. You can see this is the image you uploaded. This is the five different set of features, five cluster features. Okay, this is the images. Those images will save in the project folder also. Go to your project folder. In project folder, go to the static folder. In static, you can check the images folder. In images folder, you can see. This is the original images, original image you have uploaded. Then this is the clustered image, embedded image, clustered image. So then what you have to do means you have to upload this original image on the next page. So just go to the next page. After clustering, you have to go to the next page. Choose image. In choose image, just go to the vitamin deficiency, static, then go for the images. In images, choose that original image. That's it. Once you choose the original images means just upload this image. So then it will give the results. What type of vitamin deficiency you are having? It will show. So the tongue images you upload are having vitamin C deficiency. So it's condition caused by the diet. Okay. You have to use various citrus fruits as well as vegetable to overcome this disease. Okay. Vitamin deficiency. So symptoms for this project was 
brushing, bleeding gums, weakness, fatigue, rashes among your various skins. This is the major symptom for this project. So you have to use citrus, rich fruits, potatoes, broccoli as well as strawberries for this project. Okay. So this is the overall uh, vitamin deficiency step. I can upload and check for the another images also. Then for that what I am going to do means I have to choose the file here. In choose the file I am going to use test images. You can use any images not an issue. I am just going to use any I images for that. Just I am uploading my I images here. Same I am using five clusters. Then what I have to do means I have to use submit here. Submit turn means iteration 1 running, iteration 2 running. We have to wait for the 10 iteration to complete. That means segmentation to complete. We have to wait for the segmentation to complete. So after 10 iteration, it will generate the uh, segmented images. So it's a completed. After completion of the project means, you can see this is the image you uploaded. This is the segmented images. Five different segmented images uploaded. If you go for the static folder means, you can go for the static folder means, images, you can find original image. This is the embedded image you can find. So you have to upload the original image on the next step. So what I'm going to do means I have to use next button, then choose the image. What I'm going to do means I'm going to use the original image in testing. So I have to use original image for testing. So once I uploaded the original image means I have to check the results, check deficiency. So the image you uploaded contains vitamin A deficiency. Uh, deficiency of vitamin A was associated with significant morbidity as well as mortality in Childhood infection. Okay, so this is the overall uh, vitamin deficiency things. So we have to show the data set means go to the folder, project folder. You can find data set. This is the various vitamin deficiency photos. For example, vitamin A deficiency, these are the images we have given. For example, vitamin B deficiency, these are the images we are given. We can take skin image, tongue image, eyes image, any image you can take as an input. So this is the tongue photo. This is the tongue photo. This is the images of tongue, your tongue, as well as this is the skin photo. You can use anything here, not an issue. Everything works perfectly. Okay. I can choose uh, another images also for you. So for uploading image, go to upload folder, then choose any images. So what I'm going to means, I'm going to go the test images folder. In test images folder, I'm just choosing one file, skin images, then giving cluster as a file. Then I have to give submit after submitting. To wait for the 10 iteration to complete so once 10 iteration completed means it will generate the segmented images for this project So after completing the segmentation, if you're going for the project folder means you can find the segmented image results. So this is the skin image you uploaded. This is the clustered segmented images. The, then you have to go for the folder also. You can find the embedded images. Okay. Then you have to upload the original image in the next folder, uh, file. So just choose next, choose image, just to give original image as an input. In the next step so this is the original image i have uploaded so this is my original image what i'm going to do means i have to use check deficiency so see that vitamin a the deficiency of uh, uh, thing is vitamin a deficiency the complete result you can check you can check various vitamins for example we are taking data set as a uh, various vitamins you can find vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, various vitamins we have taken. So you can use any images, tongue images, tongue images, skin images, or eye images. Any images you can use as an input, as per the base paper. Then go for the analysis tab. In analysis, you can use chart page. In chart page, you can find it. So various vitamin, you know, how much images taken on each data set, each vitamins in your data set. This is the graph for that. In overall accuracy of this project, we can get accuracy around 97 percentage while using DNN for this project. Training accuracy was 96, which is very much accurate while comparing to the current standard. So to get this project, please contact iwexpert.com. We do provide this project at a better price. Okay, the 
the description for this getting this project given in your sorry the link for getting your project given in the description please follow that okay please subscribe our channel also for various innovative projects and more concept or future updates thank you thank you for your connections